VLANs are one of the most fundamental concepts in networking. So you have your LAN, this is your broadcast domain. Now you're limited with physical interfaces and you want to create more broadcast domains for other appliances, other users. How do you do it? Using VLANs. Coming up. Now you can create VLANs using the GUI, the graphical user interface, by moving to create new interface and VLAN, but we will do it using the command line. So let's assume that we have an empty physical interface with no IP address. So let's just create an IP address that will serve that interface. Config system interface. Now let's add it port. Which port was it? Port 2. Okay, so let's use port 2. Um, set mode to static and set IP to 10.0.5.1 uh, slash 24. The other thing that we will do is to set the allow access to HTTPS and HTTP. All right, so that was the first step. Let's just look at our new interface by refreshing the page. And that's our interface. Now we're limited. We're limited with one broadcast domain for that interface, but we have new appliances, new users that will need to connect to that interface, but use another broadcast domain. So what do we do? Let's move to our command line. Now let's set the new VLAN. All right, so let's config system interface, edit. Let's just name it VLAN 100. That's a classical name for just about any VLAN. Um, set VDOM, that will be root. Set VLAN ID, that will be 100. Uh, set interface, that's the interface that our VLAN will be attached to, which is port 2. Set the IP, now the IP, let's set it to 10.0.9.1 slash 24. And by that, we have just created our VLAN for that interface. So let's just refresh it. And now we can see that we have a new VLAN interface which behaves just like any other local area network. You can uh, keep on configuring DHCP services, uh, DNS services, just about anything on that VLAN the same way as you were doing on any other interface. 